This week, we start the trek to the Bahamas with a trip down the Florida coast to Fort Lauderdale. We experience the highs and lows that this life has to offer and push our comfort level well past our expectations. We are Paige, Daniel, and Winston, living aboard and sailing our 38-foot catamaran plot twist. Our goal is adventure and exploration, and this week, we take another big step in that journey. Today is a big day for us. I think we're going to leave the dock. Yeah, we woke up and it was kind of sprinkling and a really windy and cloudy. And so we're like, oh, the weather's not as beautiful as we were planning. So we've been sitting here for an hour debating if we want to wait until tomorrow, which has zero wind. Mm -hmm. Well, not, not zero, but very, very light, light yeah. wind. So we would just be motoring the whole time. Or we could get out there today where we... We'll likely see 30 knots of wind. We'll just put a couple reefs in and see where that gets us. Yeah, totally. All right, so we are just about ready to get out of here. <sighs> that got a little nervous jitters, excitement, terrified, mm -hmm. uh, a little bit of both, don't you think, darling? Yeah, totally. Um, you know, the winds are a little strong-ish, they're stronger than we're used to, uh, but we'll put in a couple of reefs, I think, and we'll be we'll be fine. Yeah. Because if we wait until tomorrow, we'll just be motoring. Yeah. And do we want to motor or do we want to sail? Well, we bought a sailboat to sail, so let's let's go sailing. Let's go sailing. Winston's ready. We're gonna go sailing, Winston. Yeah. I am freaking out a little, um, but everything's fine. Everything's just fine, darling. Here. We're going to Fort Lauderdale. We sure are. Like. <laughs> we should be excited about this, not yeah. not 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 terrified, right? That's right. <laughs> okay. So in order to depart, we've taken off our spring lines, we've doubled back our bow and stern lines, um, so we can both be on the boat and get this handled. So we'll take off the bow line first, and the current will take us out catch the wind and we'll just shoot on out the out the marina or at least that's the plan because uh yeah we you know i just i don't know it always feels like something's gonna go wrong but we should be able to pivot off our stern like daniel said the current and wind should just take us on out <sighs> all right we're almost ready uh these are lovely what they're called marriage savers <laughs> so we're not yelling at each other while we're trying to dock and anchor and that kind of stuff so, we got these all set up. We're gonna grab one more camera because, you know, we just never know what's gonna happen next. <laughs> right, darling? I don't know if that's a good thing or not. <laughs> all right, we're released from the bow. Okay. Or the stern. Go, and that was our home. Goodbye. Goodbye, home. I know. Home is where you park it. That's right. Where you park it. We just left the marina, or we we just left the dock. <laughs> we, it's we're so off. setting in. It's. <laughs> like a dream that we've had for years. Yeah, this is this is the realization of the dream. Wow. I feel like that was a good exit. We're off and we're out. Come what may. It's out there. It's out there. This is the beginning of uh this is the beginning. Yeah. This is this is it. This is like yeah. This this is this is like this is monumental. Like this is really it. Yeah I know Wow. Are you just, is that just sinking yes, in? Yes, it is just sinking in. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, leaving the dock. Yeah, that's would a you big turn thing. on VHF? Yeah. Brunswick Landing Marina, Brunswick Landing Marina. This is Plot Twist. Plot Twist, you're about to go ahead. Just wanted to say thank you guys so much for being awesome. We have appreciated all of you guys and enjoyed our time here so much. And we will see you next time. Uh, the plot twist. Hope you have very safe travels, and we'll see you next year, hopefully.
Yes, ma'am. Return to 16. Beautiful day today. We got, you know, 15 knots of wind, light gust up to 30, uh, partly cloudy skies. It is a little chilly, but we are heading out with the ebb tide. Probably be on a broad reach to a beam reach all the way down. And it should make for excellent sailing. Swell conditions look, you know, one to one to two feet maybe. Pages being awesome getting all the fenders off and geez i don't know when the next time we'll have to put those on we're on our way to fort lauderdale for a haul out we need to get a bottom job done and they're also going to do some work on our seacocks and stuff so that means that this is really kind of our first long passage uh and the first leg to the bahamas <laughs> sounds crazy doesn't it we are planning to uh, get to fernandina beach in uh florida and we're gonna stay there a day because this is kind of our first trip. And then from there, we're gonna to go to St. Augustine. So our first overnight is going to be from St. Augustine to Fort Pierce. And then from Fort Pierce, we're going to go to Lake Worth. And then from Lake Worth to Fort Lauderdale. So we're just gonna kinda of jump on down the, the coast of Florida. Hopefully get there in time for our scheduled uh, haul out. So we gave ourselves a, a little over a week uh, to get there. So since this is our first time, you know, we'll just take it easy. All right, I'm gonna go up. Sounds good. Tighten in reef one. Go ahead and okay. get that tight. I guess we'll that down. Yeah. Raise the knee. Yep. Oh, you don't have a something up there. Oh, yeah. Grab to put that back in. Gotta have her stop or not. That's right. Don't lose the. Oh, no, that would be very bad. That would be bad. Alright, I'm gonna watch the batons. Yep. Or are you watching the batons? Um, I'm keeping us pointed, so watch the reason. We'll go ahead and, and get us on our course here. Go all the way. Oh. How you feeling? feeling better. Got some speed now. Neutral yeah, I'm in neutral. Yeah. The engines are off. The engines are off. And we're moving forward. Oh, guys, that is like the best thing ever. <laughs> well, look at the current going through the food. Wow. Yeah, because we're doing we're doing five point two knots. <laughs> Our apparent wind is wind is eight. <laughs> like like Daniel said earlier, this is a dream finally being realized. That is such a beautiful way of saying it. Thank you, darling. Of course. And uh, this is just so cool. And and it's and I look back at where we've been. So we've been staring at these bridges for. A, two months now like we're gonna we're someday we're going to go under those bridges and we're gonna head off into the great unknown unknown to us and today is that day we're going about five knots five we're, over ground right now okay. five over ground we have the uh we're heading out with the current which is giving us a lot of speed i think this is champagne sailing this is champagne sailing we just forgot the champagne <gasps> there he is! <gasps> we have dolphins! We're sailing offshore. Back to sailing again. We're offshore. We are offshore. We are sailing offshore. offshore. 
Hey guys, this is like a big day. This is exciting. Yeah, so we're far enough away from shore that we can dump our holding tanks. And this is the first time that we've done that. And um, Daniel went down to change the lever. Yeah, I hear him start swearing, using a, a lot of profanities. So I go down, I'm like, what's what? He's like, I need a bong. I grab the bong and the mallet and there is poop. Just, I mean, just pouring out of the holding tank. It's just all of raw waste. I don't think Daniel's gonna be really up talking right now. That was shitty. He's covered and the boat smells like poop. You know. Um, I don't really even know what to say, but that's a pretty big part of our trip. You want to rinse off on yeah, the I'm fresh just... water? Yeah. yeah. And of course, our holding tank has to be right next to the engine. So it's not just poop. It's hot poop. Sailing though. Oh my gosh, yeah, let's focus on that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is awesome. Yeah, it's a little colder than I would like, but it's, it's a great day to be out sailing. It sure is. All down bilge, and yeah, it's it's gross. It's just super gross. So I'm gonna try and clean it up as best I can, but it's super gross. Using the wet dry vac. Yeah. So Daniel and I have lost almost all of our sense of humor. <laughs> Not quite all, but we're just, you know, we. Uh, it's pretty rolly out here. It's not bad weather at all, but it is pretty rolly. And trying to clean up that poopy mess below. Daniel's washing his poopy pants because he was wearing them when everything exploded. And so, yeah, we're kind of, we're starting to get a little seasick with the smell and the rolling and the trying to clean things up below. But you know, otherwise, this is a lovely sale. I mean, it'd be hard to pick a better day. Yeah. But we are at this absolutely gorgeous little anchorage. I mean, like, check it out. It's just, it's just beautiful. Uh, but keep in mind, I, I do not want to paint this lifestyle in a more than pleasant light because in all things there are highs and lows. And so it's not all this gorgeous when we just turn to the, that's a, a paper factory? Yeah, it's a paper pulp mill. Pulp mill. Yeah. So we have a little night light and it will keep glowing all throughout the night. Twinkle, twinkle, little factory. Exactly. <laughs> It's a big factory, but um, we'll just we're just gonna look look out the window that way. We now have a mess to clean up. Yeah. 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 <sighs> so we'll do that and then have and then we'll eat. Then we'll figure out something to eat. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna want to eat after this. Yeah. <laughs> we have made it to Fernandina Beach in Florida. <sighs> So uh, we are going to get out, stretch our legs, go on a potty break, and maybe get some lunch. Come on with some up up. Alright, let's go. In. There.
Good morning. It is morning. Is it? It's still so much morning. It's still dark outside. <laughs> it's very early. It's about four o'clock and we are uh, trying to leave as early as we can, um, reasonably, <laughs> so that we can get to the... Um, We're trying to time uh, the tides yeah. to get out of uh, Fernandina because uh, they can get kind of strong through here. So we want to get out of here while the tide is still in our favor. Yeah, and we have about 14 hours to go to St. Augustine this morning. A, well, we won't make it there this morning. No. We, <laughs> no. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's going to be a long, a long sail today, but mm -hmm. it should be a nice sail, I think. It yeah, be. it should be fairly pleasant. So we're going to get, we're going to get going. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's, we're just waking up. Our, uh, we're getting caffeinated, and we are on the way. Um, just trying to navigate this thing in the dark, and just use the day beacons and our chart and all the visual reference that we possibly can. I mean, we've been here before, but that doesn't mean we know the place. So, well, here we go. So far, the most challenging part about sailing in the dark is the uh, are the uh, commercial fishing vehicles vessels we uh we, we don't really know where they where, where they're going they're not on ais so we find them on the radar and they have bright lights but again we don't we're not really sure which direction they're going um there's several out here that's what all the white lights are but right now we're looking at this one out here this one is actually heading straight for us so uh, he appears to be doing some like sweeping motions, and um, we're just trying to stay out of his way. We're we're a pleasure craft. We're out here for fun. He's trying to make some money. Yeah, I mean we're we can see him, and I'm sure he could probably see us. So, you know, just doing our best to be good mariners and stay out of each other's way. all the stress that it is to come out here and all the projects that we worked on to come out here to have a sunrise sail and the sunrise is this beautiful this is this is how we get paid is through sunrises sunsets and pleasant weather but anyhow it's very exciting to be out here first thing in the morning greeted Oh, I mean, this is acts just spectacular, glorious. This is this is glorious. We're coming up to St. Augustine Inlet. This is our second full day of sailing. Yes, very full day. Oh my goodness, it's been awesome. Um, but kind of interesting, as we're pulling into the St. Augustine Inlet, um, it says, channel subject to continual changes, not surprising with sand and yeah. water. Um, entrance buoys are not charted due to constant shifting. 
Yeah, so don't come in here at night unless you really know where you're going. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to St. Augustine. Yes, we are. <laughs> it has been a very long day. Yeah, it is. Uh, I think it's been 14 hours. Oh, just about. Yeah. This is our longest uh, sail to date. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm tired. I'm hungry. Yeah, but it's been an adventure today. No major disasters. So no, a it's good, been good. A good day today. And then our next step in this journey is we're planning Place we're planning to go from St. Augustine to Fort Pierce, which is a very long sail. That will be our longest sail. It's going to be our first overnight at least. That's what we're planning. We'll see if oh. the winds cooperate. Doesn't yeah, look we'll like see. they're doing that right now, but we'll see. We'll see. Daniel and I are sitting here planning our next steps. Uh, we are seriously debating about doing our first overnight passage. This looks like the mileage and windage is going to be favorable for us to go from St. Augustine all the way down to Fort Pierce. So we'll try and take advantage of that and, like Paige said, do our first overnight. It's exciting and terrifying. I think that that pretty much says sums up this whole trip. <laughs> exciting and terrifying because so many unknowns, there's so many things that we just our first, our first of so many. Yeah, the weather models are conflicting, so we don't know exactly how much wind there's gonna be, um, but we'll throw in a couple reefs before dark and just go from there. Exciting, <laughs> yet terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the alarm is set for 6 a.m. Let's Definitely do it. a beautiful day. Yeah, every day is a beautiful day. That's right. morning. It's another beautiful morning. Oh yes, beautiful morning here in St. Augustine and we are going to Fort Pierce. That's the plan. Oh, it's going to be a long one, uh, but it's should be, I mean, we're expecting beautiful winds, mm -hmm. beautiful day, yep. all day. Um, and so we need to take advantage of this window because after, I believe it's on Saturday when mm -hmm. we're planning on getting there, it just dies down. Yeah, it's, it's looking like it. this is our best opportunity to get down there in, in a good amount of time. Yeah, so. yeah. So hopefully we're gonna average out around six knots. Yeah. That's what Fingers I'm. Fingers crossed. That's what I'm hoping. Yeah. If we do, it'll only take us 27 hours to get there. Yeah, that's just a just a hop, skip, and jump down the coast. <laughs> uh, yes, attempting our first full night. Mm -hmm. First overnight sail. First all full day. Well, not I guess full day, but it's yeah. Oh, it's, it's definitely a full day. Oh yeah. Very, because very it's 27 day. hours. Yeah. Very full day. So, well, yeah, it's exciting. But, so now we got to get the anchor up and get out of here. That's right. It just, it just amazes me like how nervous I get every time we get started thinking about all the things and, and and once we're out and we're out doing I'm like oh what was I what was I freaking out about I wasn't freaking there's no reason to be scared about it you know and we were just talking about how if, we haven't done this a lot like you know this is only the second time we've raised anchor unsupervised you know we've never caught a boring ball unsupervised before, you know and so it's just all of these things that we're so aware of how inexperienced we are. So it's been about five hours uh, since we left St. Augustine and we have done a little over 22 miles. So it's kind of a slow day. At this rate we'll be in in two nights. So uh, the wind is supposed to pick up later. But, hey, it's beautiful right now. Not a lot of swell. And we're, you know, we're doing four-inch knots, so. 
So, good day. We were planning on a one night sale. Uh, who knows, it might turn into a two night, um, just depending on how fast we go. But I don't want to, I don't know, jinx us or, cause this is lovely. This is nice and calm. I, I'm actually getting some editing done without getting seasick. So this is, this is it's nice. I don't want to wish for more than we can handle. We could get towards something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, if we can keep six to ten, you know, or you know, or eight to ten knots, we can do, you know, five to six knots over ground, and that would that would be perfect. But this is this is still great. We're getting ready to have some dinner. Mm -hmm. Daniel and I have both taken naps this afternoon. Yep. And I think after dinner, I'll go to bed. Mm -hmm for a few hours and then we'll start switching back and forth. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the winds look like they're going to hold this nice westerly 10 to 15-ish all night. Yeah, it'll die. It'll get a little slower about 8 o'clock, I guess, on your shift. Yeah. And it'll fill back in by 9, 10 o'clock. So I think, uh, yeah, it's turning in. It's a is an ideal sale yeah it's for a us. beautiful day it's gonna be a beautiful night yeah so this is the uh the weather and the ocean gods are definitely in our favor right now I, I, smiling upon pools that's right yep. that's right all right so it's kind of an interesting uh evening so far <laughs> the sun is setting and uh daniel is was making dinner and uh, the wind really picked up. Yeah, yeah, the wind, we've been getting, you know, 10, 12 all day, and, you know, now we're starting to see 20s. Right, right. We were expecting the wind to kind of die off a little bit uh, as the sun goes down, but um, it's not, actually yeah. picking up. Yeah, not so much. So. so instead of one reef, we put in two. Yep. So that should get us all the way up through about 25 apparent. Um, so we'll, we'll see from there. Whew. But yeah. Exciting. Yeah, we're at uh, sustained, you know, 17, 18. Yeah. And yeah, but, but we're still going, even with two reefs in. We still hit over seven just now. Yeah, 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 we're going six and a half, seven knots easily. So it's not slowing us down for sure. No. And, um, but yeah, we're, it should be a lovely evening. Yeah, yeah beautiful evening. <laughs> sun's going to And an uh, amazing sun. So um, it's uh, kind of scary. Uh, we are rocking and rolling pretty far, taking the waves right on our beam. We're going like five and a half, six and a half knots, oh, seven and a half. So we're making good time, which is great, I guess. Um, but God, I feel like we're getting a beating. Yeah, uh, I mean, the winds, I mean, I've, I've seen some top up around 20 and we have two reefs in, which is, perfectly fine for for where we're at um so I, we have to make a turn south which is going to put the wind more instead of off our beam more on our nose uh, and put the sea state on our nose so i don't know what that's going to do what that's really going to do for us here yeah Anyhow. So, yeah. Exciting stuff. 